So this website is currently on stable host and I want to move it across to my new hosting at A2 Hosting. So we're going to do that using a plugin called Migrate Guru, which is really, really good. It's very easy to use and it doesn't mean it also means you haven't got to download things to your computer and then upload them again. The first thing you need to do though is go to your new web host and we need to set up the domain over on there. So let me just drag this down a little bit and you can see that the domain name using the rainbow is up there. I've already got a main domain for my account so I've got to set this up as an add-on domain. So if I go down to domains and click on add-on domains and then in the new domain name we just paste in the domain that we want to add to our account, click anywhere else and it populates the subdomain and the root document. We want to create an FTP account with this so let's just click on the create FTP account and I'm going to type in a name for my FTP account and then put in a password. So let me just paste in the password and click on add domain. Okay, the add-on domain has been created, the FTP account has been created. The next thing we need to do is to install WordPress on the new web host in that account. So let me just go to Softaculous and I'm going to select the normal WordPress installer. I'm going to go to install and then select the domain. Okay, so we've picked the domain from the list. We've got HTTPS. The A2 hosting uses Let's Encrypt certificates, so it automatically adds a Let's Encrypt HTS HTTPS SSL certificate when you add a domain to your hosting. The rest of the settings on here aren't important. What is important is that you have a WordPress site installed because the plugin we're going to use uses the database to bring across the site on the old server to this one. So it does need WordPress installed. But the rest of this, these details, login, username and password, these are going to be overwritten when the site is moved. So I'm going to just click on the install button at the bottom and WordPress will be installed on my new host. Now obviously if I go to the domain, the domain is still the one on my old server because my DNS are pointing to my old server, not my new one. So what we've got here is we've got WordPress set up on the new host ready to accept the site from my old host. So let's go back to the old host and I'm going to log into the dashboard. Make sure all of WordPress is updated, the themes, the plugins and WordPress itself. And then let's go down to add new plugin. And we're going to search for Migrate Guru. And here it is, Migrate Guru. Let's install. And activate. Once activated, you're taken to the Migrate Guru page where you need to enter an email address. Click on I agree to the Blog Vault and click on the Migrate Site button. Now, this plugin is designed to work with lots of different hosts, and the host I'm moving to is A2 Hosting. However, I have tried moving using this click here to A2 Hosting and it failed. So what I do is I scroll to the bottom down to where it says FTP. You can also do a cPanel to cPanel transfer, but I have also had these fail. The only one that hasn't failed for me is the FTP. So click on the FTP. We set up the details of the FTP earlier in the video. First thing I'm going to do is type in the destination of the site and make sure it's typed in properly. Select FTP and then put in the FTP server. The port number is optional, but I know it's port 21. And then the FTP username. Now, one of the things that's caught me a few times is with capitalization and case. You have to have the same capitalization and case as the FTP username you set up. If I put a capital J there, it would fail. And let's just grab the password and paste that in. Now, the directory path. 
When I set up my FTP program or my FTP account, I made sure that that FTP account was pointing to the folder where juicing the rainbow needs to be installed. I can quickly check that by putting these details into an FTP program and running it like something like FileZilla, opening up the website and making sure that what I'm seeing is the folder where WordPress was installed on the new host. So I should see wp-config and all those other files for the blank WordPress that we installed. Once you're sure you've got your directory path right, click on the Migrate button and BlogVault, the Migrate Guru, will go and check your FTP details. If there's a problem, it will take you back to the screen you've just seen, asking you to fix your details. If everything is all right, then this screen will change in a moment to show you the progress of the migration. And this is the progress of the migration now. So we've got migrating from here to here. We've got the bytes and files and tables and then a percentage migration. OK, that took about 10 to 15 minutes, but I've found out that that can vary quite a lot depending, I guess, on how busy the blogvault.net website is in migrating stuff across. Anyway, once it's finished, they will send you an email to that email address that you entered at the beginning, and you'll see that we've now got migration completed successfully, and it says visit migrated site. But you click on that, you're still going to be taken to the site on the old host because you haven't changed the DNS servers yet. So what you need to do is go into your domain registrar, and here I am in mine, and this is the website. And I can see that at the moment I'm using Cloudflare. Now Cloudflare is a CDN. If you use it as well, the best thing I've found is to actually delete your site from Cloudflare and re-add it. But during this migration, what I do is I just put in the name servers for my new hosting and wait for that to propagate so I can check what the site looks like on the new host, make sure everything is working fine. So I've just changed the name servers. So in a few hours or possibly a little bit sooner than that, my site should start being served from my new web host. That's where we might find some problems. And the usual problem is the SSL certificate hasn't been created properly and there's a, there's a little bit of an issue. I'll show you what to, to do if that happens. I just need to wait now for a few hours and we'll come back when the site is being served from my new host. It's been about an hour, so I'm just going to come back here and drag this down and just refresh the browser and see what happens. OK, we've got this. Your, your connection is not private. That means there's a problem with the SSL certificate. If I go and check this in Firefox, then we've got warning potential shoot security risk ahead. If I go and click on advanced and then accept risk and continue, I'll get a message saying that it's something to do with the A2 hosting. All right, so this is the thing that I need to fix, and it's to do with the SSL certificate. So here I am in the cPanel of my new hosting, and I want to go down to security. And I'm going to click on SSL TLS status. And this shows me all of the domains in my account and the status of the auto SSL that's created by the Let's Encrypt. I'm going to do a search for my new domain. So I just type in the domain name. And you can see here that there was an error the last time the auto SSL ran. Now you can leave this and I would hope that it would eventually sort itself out. But the thing that I found that speeds things up a little bit is if you select them all, and then say exclude these nine domains from auto SSL. So all of the entries that relate to the juicing the rainbow domain and then go back in and include them. I'm going to just click on the run auto SSL and then just leave it. When the auto SSL has finished running, then this page will refresh and you can see now that the auto SSL domain has been validated. Some of these haven't, but these aren't related to the actual domain itself. If I go over to my domain and refresh it, you'll see that the domain is now loading with the padlock saying that it is secure. And if I check the certificate, you can see that we've got a valid Let's Encrypt Authority X3 certificate. So that is the move complete now. I can actually delete this domain on my old hosting, ready to cancel that hosting package.